At just 37 years old, Ron O'Leary has already had his share of heart tests. In August 2008, his health rapidly declined. Well, I certainly couldn't uh, maintain the house. I couldn't get out there and cut the yard or, you know, do normal activities that a 35-year-old guy would do. Finally, after two trips to the ER, doctors delivered shocking news. They told me that I had cardiac failure. A virus had attacked his heart. Just shocked and scared. Doctors are saying, you know, to myself and my wife, you know, life is never going to be the same. Ron was facing a potential heart transplant when he got an email about a treatment offered at Regenocyte, an institute in Naples, Florida. A patient of Regenocyte emailed me and said, look into this. So we looked online, uh, you know, read all about Dr. Greco's and his and these stem cells. Dr. Zanos Grecos and his colleagues are healing patients' hearts with adult stem cells, a treatment that until now has only been available in the U.S. as part of a clinical trial. It has been approved in other countries, but the FDA tends to take a, a bit longer to get things approved, and that's why we're still lagging behind the rest of the world. But most patients don't have time to wait, and now they don't have to. We're the only group outside of a clinical trial that's utilizing direct injection into the myocardium with stem cells. Each patient's blood is sent to a lab in Israel to process the stem cells. The cells are then sent to a hospital in the Caribbean where they're re-injected into the heart in a standard catheterization procedure. Ron had his treatment in the Dominican Republic. Going to the Dominican Republic was nice. It's, you know, it's a beautiful setting. It's a nice tropical island. He was skeptical at first, but willing to take the risk. My anticipation of getting better totally outweighed my, you know, nervous tensions. It paid off. Ron's ejection fraction rate, which measures how well his heart pumps blood, has risen from a perilous 25% to a much more stable 44. I went from a life that was just so-so to a life that's almost back to normal. Now he hopes telling his story will help other patients seek out the treatment for themselves.